Now we're... Oh. Oh, oh, oh. I'm breaking stuff. Okay. Let's... I thought I won. Okay. Okay. Pretend that didn't happen. Now we're going to keep going with the upside down stairs. And you're not going to go to the edge. Hey guys, welcome to my creative build tutorial world something. That's a really long name. We'll figure out a name. I thought we would do some building. You guys know that I love to build and design, or at least you should. And most of the time I just do it off the top of my head. I don't necessarily have a pattern or anything. I just think of something and start going to it. So I thought today I would bring you into this super flat world with a couple villages and nine gazillion animals all over the place. <laughs> and we would build together. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I um, created a, I'm going to call it a bee atrium. Uh, it's not a farm. There is no redstone whatsoever. I mean, you could use it to collect honey and honeycomb and stuff, but you'd have to do it manually because this is not a tutorial for a farm. So There's our outline, but first, let's go into our test here. And this is stuff that I may need or stuff that I will need. The grass blocks are simply because I'm in creative and I might break it, so don't worry about that. You can take a screenshot to get all of this. I'm not going through it individually. And the first four that we're going to start with is yellow concrete, brown concrete, birch planks, and yellow stained glass paints. Now you can use whatever color you want, but I like these colors because they go with the beehives and bee nests. So if I come up here, you can see that we do not have a circle. I didn't want it to be a, um, an actual circle, so it's more like an oval. And we're going to start here, <clears throat> and we're going to do one, two, three. We're going to leave a spot for the door, one, two, three, and then diagonally one, two in the same direction, one, two in the same direction, one, and then we're going to start over and do it on all four sides. One, two, three, door. One, two, three. We're going to turn here. So you see that turn? These, uh, the two are going to be level, or I mean, uh, parallel to only two sides. And it doesn't matter which. Three. Okay. And then one, two, three, leave a spot for the door. And then we're going to turn. And we are good. Now, see, in this case, I'm going to replace this yellow with grass, which chances are you're not going to have yellow, so you wouldn't have to do this. <laughs> okay. Now, from here, I forgot our doors. I like the birch doors because I feel like they kind of match the lives. I don't know. I just think it looks really good with this build. So we are going to come on the inside and put our doors on. And the reason we go from the inside is so that we get uh, some dimension to the outside of the house. So see, it's set back into the house. And then from here, whoops, we're going to take our yellow concrete and outline the doors. So see, it's two up and then one in the middle. And we'll do that on all four doors. Okay, and then I'm going to put two yellow glass panes on each side. And I'll actually show you just the next step here. I'm going to take the brown concrete and cover all of this. So 
so then if we look, you've got your door, you've got it surrounded in yellow, yellow stained glass panes, and then brown concrete all around. So do that to all four sides, and I will as well, and I'll be right back. Okay, so we've got this all done, which is our door surrounded in yellow, each side yellow glass panes, surrounded in brown and the concrete. Now we're going to grab yellow glazed terracotta. And this part is either the fun part for some or the frustrating part for others. So what we have to do is figure out which way, oh, I'll better show you where. So if you go to the door and then come to the side, you have these two and then these two. We're gonna put four blocks of terracotta on there. And you have to rotate to get terracotta to place the right way. And I usually can never figure it out. <laughs> okay, and so I want this big circle in the middle, but you can do it however you want. Now, the other thing is you're probably going to need temporary blocks because... You're going to have to go from the top to place these ones. Mm, oops. Nope. Okay, this way? Nope. <laughs> this way? Nope. This way? I don't think so. Nope. And a lot of times... I forget how many ways I've done it. <laughs> oh my gosh. What am I doing wrong here? It usually does not take me this long. Oh, wait, I had it. Right? Yes. Okay, and then... No. There we are. So we're going to do that on all of these. All the way around the house where there's two. You're going to do four blocks of yellow glazed terracotta or whatever terracotta you want. And I'll meet you back here after we've finished all of it. Okay, so... If it, you are anything like me, it took you four years to do the first couple, and then once you got the hang of it, the rest went quickly. <laughs> all right, so once you have all of the terracotta done, you're going to go back to your birch planks, and we are going to go up, and we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. And you're going to fill everything in around the doors and the terracotta and everything up to five. I can't steer today. I'm just, I'm not having a good time with this. I mean, I'm having a good time. I'm not having an easy time steering. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to do this all the way around. And then once I get done, I'll be back with you guys to do some more. Okay guys, so we have the birch planks filled in now all the way up five from our bottom. <clears throat> and what we are going to do is from the edge of this long seven, we're going to place one there and one on top. But this top one's temporary because we need it to build. So we're going to take that out and we're going to do that again. And we're also going to go from the other side and do the same thing. And then on the very top to create this peak. And then we are going to fill it with the yellow 
glass panes. Not like that. Okay, so we're going to do that on all sides that have the door. Okay, so now that we have that done, it should look something like this. It's coming along nicely. Now we are going to go back to our birch planks and in between the doors <clears throat> or the windows, I should say, we're going to, we've got the one individual column and then we have the two. So on all of the ones, wow, that was quick. We're going to come up to match this one okay and then here you're going to need another temporary block right maybe if i can get it to work right there and you're going to do two okay so we're going to leave these six blank okay so then we come up all the way with the single Get a temporary block, do two, break your temporary block, come all the way up with the single, temporary block, don't break it until you use it, <laughs> and then we're going to go across where the window is, bring this one up. And then once again, temporary block to break your temporary block and bring this one up. And so we're going to do that all the way around. And it'll look like this. You'll have a gap of three here, kind of like a Tetris piece. And you'll have a gap of six here. So once I get this done, I'll be back. To show you what we're going to do with all these holes. Okay, so from above, your structure should look something like this. And then if we go down, it should look like this. Oop, I missed one right there. Make sure you get all the single ones up. Let's just double check. I missed one here as well. Okay, all right. I think we got it all. So, looking at one of the sides that has the door, we are going to take our yellow and brown concrete. So I'm going to go off to the right and I'm going to do brown, yellow, yellow, brown, brown, yellow. And then I'm going to do the same thing right here. Brown, yellow, yellow, brown brown and yellow now i started with brown on the inside on this side so now i'm going to go to the left and i'm going to start with brown on the inside so see it matches it's kind of mirrored and so we're going to do yellow yellow brown brown yellow Yellow, brown, brown, yellow, yellow, brown. And then we're going to come over to the opposite side. And we're going to do the same thing. So going to the left, brown is on the inside. Yellow, yellow, brown, brown, brown. It's like black and yellow only. It's brown and yellow. Brown and yellow, brown and yellow. <laughs> Okay, brown, yellow, yellow, brown, brown, yellow, and then one more side to do. Remember, brown on the inside, and last one, brown on the inside, yellow, yellow, brown, brown, 
yellow. Now we have to go over to our chest and grab our glowstone. And all these little like tiny L's, we're going to fill them with glowstone so that we have some light up here. Okay guys, so the front of your structure, which I mean really any side can be the front. <laughs> it's up to you how you want to look at it. But this is how one of the sides with the terracotta should look. And then if we swap it around this way, this is how the side that the terracotta is not facing us should look. So we are going to go back down to our chest and get rid of doors and glass panes. Now we're going to grab yellow and brown and get rid of all of that. We don't need that right now. Yellow and brown glass blocks. And so what we are going to do up here is we're going to start with brown and we're just going to cover every plank with brown glass. That's it. That's all you got to do. Okay, so we have the brown glass covering all the planks on the top. And now we are going to start going in. It's not Obviously, it's not going to be a complete dome because this is oval, but we're going to dome it as much as we can. So you're going to need a temporary block because you're probably not going to want to break glass. I mean, unless you're in creative. So we're going to start where we started, put our temporary block there. Here, I'll use a different one so you know. Temporary block and then bring the glass in. See? And then just move along down the edge filling it all in and now this moves we got to move our glass out one with this or in one i should say so temporary block glass now same with this it's got to move in one so temporary block glass okay guys so we got the two rows done and now we are going to do one more row before we change it up a little bit. Okay guys, we have three rows of the brown glass and now we are going to switch to yellow. Yellow, yellow, and we're gonna do the same thing. So that was your temporary block. Sorry, let me do that over. Temporary block, yellow. And so that's what we're just going to go in one all the way around with this yellow. And we're going to do two rows of that. And then I'll meet you guys back here so we can see how it's looking. Okay, so now that we have our seven rows, we've got three here and we still have the seven there. So what we're going to do is this little corner here, you're going to add one there and one there, there and there okay and so then from where you added it in the corner you're going to skip that one and you're going to come to this one and that'll be your temporary block and then bring your glass out and do another row okay, guys so we are at the top and we have this strange little gap here so what we're going to do is Fill these corners in again. So one, two, three, four. And then we're gonna place, go out one from the corner, temporary block, glass. And we're just gonna do three here. And then we're gonna do it on this side as well. Temporary block, glass, one, two, three. And then we are going to take our brown and do temporary block, brown, and then just fill 
this last row in, if I can get in there, with brown. You could do these ones brown too, maybe? Just kind of give it a little more. There we go. So that is our beautiful roof for our atrium. Okay, so let's get rid of all of this stuff. Let's get stairs. So I'm using dark oak stairs and dark oak fence because I feel like it really contrasts well with the birch and it matches the um, concrete. So we're going to take our stairs and just under the window, we're going to do upside down stairs. And we're going to do that on all four sides. Whoa. Okay. Two more sides. Now we're... Oh, 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 oh. I'm breaking stuff. Okay. Let's... I thought I won. Okay. Okay. Pretend that didn't happen. Now we're going to keep going with the upside down stairs and you're not going to go to the edge. You're just going to go under the window. And this is our last side. Okay, so we're going to take our dark oak fence and we're just going to put it right on all the upside down stairs. Now later on, if you wanted to build off of this, maybe build like a house off of one side, you could take that glass out and do stairs and have it be like a balcony to look out of your house or whatever you want. You could even do that. If you're not going to build, you could take this glass out and do stairs and have this be a balcony. That's not what I wanted. There we go. Get these sides. And one more. Nope. Oh, we did them all. I didn't even realize that. Now here on the side... We're going to go all the way up with the fence to the top of the birch planks. Okay, and we're going to do that on all the sides of the doors. Okay, so now all your sides of your doors should have this dark oak fence going up to the top and the stairs and the fencing around the side. So then let's go over to our chest. And I do believe I had oak fencing in here, or birch fence, I mean. So we're going to get the birch fence and that will contrast nicely on the brown concrete. Put a fence post and a light, a fence post and a light, and we'll do that all the way around. Okay, so this is how your building should look as of right now. And I'm not really going to do anything else to the outside because I think later on in another tutorial we might build off of this. So let's get some stuff for the inside, the fun part. So we're gonna need, we'll grab our glass blocks just in case, glowstone all of our flowers. Now I don't have all the flowers, but I have most of them that are one block tall. Um, Cause if you end up wanting to breed your bees, I believe you can only use the flowers that are one block tall. We'll take these and then our bee spawn eggs, or if you're in survival, um, you can put bees on a lead. Bees nest, which you would need silk touch and a campfire to get, and a beehive. And we're going to go inside. And now in here, what we're going to do is, where this terracotta is, break uh, a block on each side of that individual column 
that is between your terracotta. And then we need to get our scaffolding. So we're going to put glowstone in there so that we have some light in here to put scaffolding up and then put a bee hive on each of those. Okay. And we're going to do that all the way around as well. Okay. And so I did forget to mention to you um, that how you place the beehive is how like this little opening will be. So don't break these if you're in survival and you don't have a campfire under it. But I just want to show you. So if I go this way, that little opening is going to face that way. And so the way I did it was I turned so that they were facing in. Okay, so all of those are done. Okay, and we are going to take, I grabbed jungle leaves and dark oak leaves because I like them. I think they're pretty. Now this is random. Like I, you have to do this however you want to have it done because it shouldn't have any kind of pattern to it. It should just look nice and be cozy and pretty. Put a, and we're going to do this around. Oh, and make sure if you break them in survival that you're using shears because if you do what I just did, you're going to lose them. So we're just going to do this around all the edges. And you can use whatever leaves you want. Just because I'm using these kinds does not mean that that's what you have to use. So get a little bit more. Jungle ones. I like the jungle ones. They're pretty. Okay. Alright, so now all around we've got bushes or leaves all over the place. And like I said, use whatever ones that you want. Um, and I did forget to grab something, so let's go in and get it. We need vines. We're done with our beehives. We're not going to put any more. Now the vines, just go from the leaves and randomly throw some vines up. Now these are going to grow. Um, so wherever you put them, you know, you're going to have more and more come up. And you just want to do this randomly just like you did with the leaves. Go up as far as you want. Now, if you are in survival, if I remember right, you can't put vines on glass in survival. Is that true or not true? Can you guys comment below and let me know because I don't remember. <laughs> so do this all the way wherever you want vines. Okay, do some here. Okay, so I, I can't put them on panes. So maybe it's just panes you can't put them on. So you can put them on full glass blocks. I, like, honestly, I just, I don't remember. And I'm not sure how vines work with the bees' nests. So just make sure you're aware of if that's okay for the bees be able to still get in their hives. Okay, do some here. That looks good with the yellow. Uh, do some here. Okay, okay. I think that's, well, let's go up a little bit right here. Now these ones that are on the glass I know will they'll start growing down and you'll have vines that grow you know just drop from your ceiling okay so that looks pretty I like our ceiling the sun's right up there so pretty 
Okay, so we're going to get rid of the vines, the glowstone, the leaves. We don't need those anymore. And we're going to put all of the flowers in our inventory. And now you can't plant these on the leaves. So the best thing to do here is just make it random. You don't want um, to have, have it patterned. That's not how flowers really are. I mean, I guess you could, but I really think that it would be better if it's random and leave, you know, a little pathway here. And so we're going to just kind of drop flowers all around the edges where we put the bushes. And now the Okay, so now we've got flowers all around us. We are going to go in the very middle. So from this door to this door, the middle block, which is this one. I'm going to go out four on each side. And then when you take it out, make sure you have this jagged pattern. So you're just going to take one and then two out on each side. One and then two. One and then two. And now we can take our flowers away because we're not going to need those at all. We need a water bucket. Oops, I missed the door. And so we're going to put water in here until it is all source blocks. And there's lots of different ways you can do that. Oh, but we don't, we don't want water up there. So let's get a empty bucket. So that we can grab that water up. Okay. Source blocks. And one more. Okay. So, I mean, if you wanted to, you could... Why? Oh my gosh. You could put stuff in here. Let's just take that middle block. That is the middle one, right? And put some glowstone in there. And then on each of these... We'll put some glowstone in there as well. You could use sea lanterns or whatever it is that you like. I tend to like glowstone with this build. Um, so then the next thing we're going to do is get a shovel. And we're just going to do some random path marks. You know, just to kind of show that it's it gets walked on around this place. We don't neglect it. We love to be in here and see our bees and check on them and listen to them buzzing around and making honey. Okay, and this is, I mean, it, it looks nicer if you just do some random things, you know, so it's not so uniform. Some things look good uniform and some things look good random. Okay, and so then let's see, let's go back into our chest and let's get some fence and some lanterns. And we can put a little bit of that up around here. And, and this can be random too. It doesn't have to be anything um, specific or symmetrical or anything like that. Sometimes the best things are very random and beautiful. I want to kind of ended up not being so random, huh? Oh my gosh, like, oops. See, that's why I have the grass because when you're in creative, you just 
break stuff all the time. So let's just um, leave, maybe leave that out. And then we'll just put a couple lanterns on the ground. There we go. Now it's not so, it doesn't look so planned. Oh, and then maybe, let's see. We could do like a little couple seating areas, maybe. Let's see, where can we do this? Um, okay, let's put that one back. And then here. And then you could sit and dangle your feetsies in the water, go for a swim, look at your bees. Okay, so I think, oh, we have, okay, one more thing to do. I like to take these hives and put them up higher and randomly around the room, different levels, different heights. Now, every beehive can have can support three bees so the more hives you have the more bees you can have and obviously you know you're not going to want four million of them but enough so now i think this is all complete so pretty and serene all we have to do is add our beads now if you're in survival you can get a lead and you can put the bees on a lead or you can if you're holding these flowers the bees will automatically follow you but for right now let's get some bees in here three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12. I don't even know how many I have. I'm just kind of guessing just to get some in here. Not close enough. There we go. That sound. I love the sound of nature. Oh, you can hear them going into their hives. Oh, you get baby bees out of fun eggs. Look at them all. Oh, they're so cute. Where is it going in and out of? All over the place, probably, huh? So, I like it. I think it is very, very pretty. Yes beautiful bee atrium where you can come in and relax gather some honey and honeycomb if you'd like see if we can see any bees get pollen oh that baby's got pollen look at his little bum oh and the mama too when they have those little white like particles on their bum they have pollen and they go back into their nest Well guys, thank you so much for joining me on this tutorial of how to build a bee atrium. I don't know if there's another word for it. It doesn't matter to me. I'm calling it a bee atrium. It's very, very serene and tranquil in here. Just a nice way to relax and be peaceful. So thank you guys. Comment below and let me know if you liked this tutorial. And also let me know if you build this and if you change up the colors or do more designs. I would love to see what you guys do. So don't forget, please hit that like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.